It was only once I got the job that it kind of kicked in that I'd have to portray a person that's been around since, well, he's been in the public eye since he was about 15. And everybody knows him really well. Well, they think they know him anyway. Um, and so you, you can't, you, you're, you're restricted. You can't, like with any part, you can't quite make it your own. You've got to, you can't just do a Scouse accent. It's got to be a, a Paul McCartney Scouse accent. You can't, you, 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 you've got to do the right things with your eyes and the right things with your mouth and the eyebrows and the wh whatever. So it was, it was something different that I've never done before. And at first it was a bit scary because <clears throat> I'd never done it before. Um, but then you get into it and um, I loved it. So it was great. Kind of, it's kind of hard because in that period they didn't have, well, there, well, there's barely any footage of them at all at that stage. I think there's two pieces of footage and two, three recordings, very crackly and you can barely hear anything. And that's all you've got to go by. Oh, and there's a few stills, a few pictures and things, but that's about it. Um, so in some ways it was quite good because it gave the actors some poetic license to kind of do what they think would be right. So I, I always thought of Paul as not, not the stereotypical, uh, what do you call it, teddy boy, like, like Lennon was kind of trying to be like an Elvis. He was, he was a little bit more of a geek, but he, he, you know, he wore the smart suits and he didn't, he didn't have such an outrageous quiff, he just had a, quite a neat party and everything. He was, he was, quite, he was quite a neat person. but. Obviously, m much more talented, and uh, once he starts picking up a guitar, you, you suddenly see him as this quite cool person. Um, so he's a mixture of being quite timid and quite sweet, with um, with a little bit of rock and roll. He's obviously got passion about rock and roll. I felt that at several points um, that we were, we were we were kind of acting out what we were supposed to be anyway. It's like um, the guy who was doing, uh, uh, coaching us, teaching us, teaching me how to play left-handed, teaching Aaron how to play guitar, the, the music man of the film, um, he, he, he said to me, he thought it was hilarious because when he told me that I had to learn left-handed, I came in, I'd restrung one of my guitars, flipped it around the other way, sprayed another part of the scratch board so it's reversed, and been practicing at home, which he said is very Paul McCartney. And when he told Aaron, Aaron was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. He said, have you practiced? No. Which is very Lennon, he said. It was quite funny. I loved the, uh, the way it wasn't, because the obvious thing was to focus on the band, which is what loads of other films have done, just focus on the famous part. But what I liked is that it focuses much more on how John became who he was because of his childhood. His, because it's very interesting, the, 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 his whole relationship with his mother and his aunt and uh, his uncle and things. And it's, and it's very emotional and quite, quite sad. And when you know that, you then realise why he was who he was and why he made the music that he did. So that's why I thought the script was great, is because it, it didn't focus on the obvious thing to do, which, which would be the band.